Hey, hey, hey. So, you know when your life is changing and you're moving and all kinds of stuff has to be done and you're just like, I'm so exhausted. And in the end, it's like, I know it's worth it. It's all worth it. <clears throat> but understand, when you're leveling up, when life is changing for you and things are getting better, there's still that darkness on your heels like, nope, nope, nope. And you're like, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It comes to people showing their true colors. But the thing is, when they start to show you their true colors, they don't realize that their mask is about to be ripped off their face. And then everything they've got going for them is about to really come out to the public. And that's where they destroy their own lives. So this is just a reminder that everything that happens in the darkness will always come to light. Like right now, I'm having to go back and forth with the person that rented me the place I stayed in. And of course, when it comes time to you give me back what I gave you, you don't want to give it back. But that's not how this works. None of that's, you don't get to keep what's unlawfully yours. And that's kind of how the universe works. Not kind of, that is how the universe works. That you're going to find, you can get away with stuff for a little bit. You can get away with it for lifetimes even. But, Eventually, that debt collector that says, hey, you got karma, you don't have no dharma, so I'm coming for you, and you're going to rectify everything that you tried to destroy. And when it comes down to it, those that sit there and start, they've accrued so much, they can't take it in the end. Even though they did people dirty, they didn't think nothing of it. You know, they laughed. They, whatever, I haven't gotten caught. Well, you know what? Sometimes you don't get caught, so you can keep building it and building it and building it. So you have to build a house out of shite, shite blocks. <laughs> and it, it gets to a point where I've even heard people go, it's not fair. No, what's not fair is that you're heartless and that you think you can use people and manipulate. But that's where we get to the point that no matter what you're going through, don't lose hope because I myself keep seeing the blessings that just keep coming and coming that there's been so many people that have tried to use me and do me wrong for their own personal gain and they either as businesses go out of business or if they're individuals they start losing everything that they gain off of my good energy and it gets to a point where, like I said, they're crying. Life's not fair. No, you weren't fair, and you're going to get back what you put out. That's one thing that I think a lot of people forget. This isn't just like a, oh, I'm just here. Yeah, you're just here in your mind, but in the grand scheme of things, you are here energetically, and you're sharing energies. So if you're going to keep doing people dirty, when your time comes... You better own that. You better understand that you chose that. It's hard for some people to stomach because they're used to never being caught. But the whole point in all this was to don't lose hope. Don't lose, don't lose your faith. Because when it comes to hard times in my life, I always think about Job in the Bible. You know, you have to lose everything to gain the glory. And it it comes down to, I see my daughter opening up and happier. I see different opportunities arising. I see toxic doors being slammed shut, gasoline doused on them, and they're just burnt away. It's just when it comes through that time of transformation, it seems really hard in the moment. But then in the end, after you're done, it's like, whoa. I wished I would have done that sooner, but the thing is we have to know the lessons we had to learn in order for that to become a possibility. You can't get into a certain energy trying to be there in the same toxic ways that you allow into your life. And I myself have had to learn that it's the people I surround myself with. It's the way that I talk to myself. It's not even necessarily how I deal with others because I've always been like, I'm always good to everybody. I don't, 
understand and that was when I was more naive in the concept of life I thought okay you do good to everybody good things happen and I've had to learn that that's not the case it's a matter more so of how do you treat yourself how do you speak to yourself how do you love yourself do you accept yourself and what you consider to be flaws and all you know do you allow others to walk all over you and wait for them to love you the right way or do you say you know what I have more worth than this I'm really not that desperate I can love myself because when it boils down to it it is like I said how we treat ourselves what we allow to happen to us because there's a lot of things that are supposed to happen for you but as long as you're allowing bad things to happen good things cannot happen to you don't let your blessings pass you by because you don't want to be seen as a bad person because standing up for yourself sometimes you're going to look a little crazy sometimes you're going to have to use your wits and say well you can't do this to me because if I want to go by legalities you don't lawfully have the right in accordance with the laws you believe in, man's laws, to say that you're allowed to do this to me. And that's where we have to put on our big britches and say, um, not today. You're not going to pull me down today. <laughs> and it, it gets to a point where we have to stand up for ourselves. So all I can ask you is, are you being the person that you wanted to protect you at some point in your life or are you still being the villain of your own story gotta ask yourself those questions and just remember that you're lovable and everything that you're enduring is to help you <clears throat> is to help you rise from those ashes and become a better version of yourself than you were yesterday so sending everybody peace love and light toodles